Hi, I'm Heather and I'm here with Dave Schoenberger, the Chief Innovative Officer and Co-Founder of CertainSafe. In the news I've read about CertainSafe's award-winning micro-tokenization and micro-encryption processes such in such places as PC Magazine. Can you tell me more about those technologies and what they do? Yeah, it's really neat technology, frankly. It, it, it's designed to solve the security conundrum of accessibility. You can secure something and make it not accessible, or you can have something very accessible and it's not secure. Our solution and why we exist is to solve that why or how to get accessible data and security at the same time. So our products, this award-winning technology, and we're, we're very grateful for that, uh, is micro-tokenization and micro-encryption. And what it really means is that we'll take a sensitive record out of a database or off of a platform or off of a device and replace it with a token. And that token then is an oblique token that has no way any reference to the source data or that security data. We take that sensitive item, we secure it, we encrypt it individually. And that micro-encryption means we'll take one record, one file, one individual piece of data, and we secure it and encrypt it. And that's what micro-tokenization is. We've designed this wonderful platform where we have APIs that you can interact with our technology. We have an SDK package where you can uh, download and interact with our core technology. And then we have applications around that that we've designed to help for secure communication, securing the way in which you would email someone uh, sensitive information, or even your own data off of your own devices and our cer certain safe Digital Vault is what uh, an individual can interact with this all this core technology. But it's very simple. We protect individual pieces of data and make them accessible. David, it stands to reason that any viewer would want to understand the measures that your team has taken to ensure performance. How do your clients know that they can depend on performance and security? Yeah, that's a great question because performance is always at the at the forefront of our mind. We want things to go fast. And one of the key ways we do it is really by design of our security in the first place. We're not securing your entire database. We're only securing the pieces in your database or the, the files on your hard drive that are the most critical ones that would, would kill you if you got breached. So we take those pieces of data and individually encrypt them. That's the other part of this. We're not encrypting all of your stuff, even though it's a reduced amount of your database. We're not encrypting all of it. We're encrypting one piece at a time. We have a pretty good idea that you don't need all 25 million records at once to work with. You might deal with some of them at a time or your users of their applications might only work with a handful of things at once. So if we encrypt each piece individually, we can decrypt these things fast. We can decrypt these things asynchronously and multiple calls can be made to us and we can send back multiple pieces of data simultaneously, but we're only on encrypting one piece at a time. So that means speed. That means high performance. Even though we're very secure, it's highly accessible. How scalable are your certain safe solutions? That's another good point of, of the way we've designed our services. Each part of our service runs as a separate service on individual virtual machines. Each machine, virtual machine, runs on a physical blade. If there's a part in, in our process that needs more performance, we're able to add more horsepower if need be, or spin up more virtual instances of a service running on, on hardware so that your company can have near real-time speed no matter how many files that they're working with or no matter how many individual records that need to be unencrypted simultaneously. There are many legacy systems out in the marketplace. What about those? Will your solutions work for them as well? It, it, it's really a two-part answer because the first part is getting data to us. And our APIs are very simple APIs. You can make a call with uh, JSON or, or even plain old XML and get data to us. The other part of this question, though, is how we can move data out of our system. So if you have one newer system and you have maybe other databases that are legacy databases spread out all over the place, we can take then and through a process of, of a smart adapter, we can take that data that we've stored securely and make it available into these other databases. And we can put them into these other databases, making the calls that these other services, these other vendors require to make that data available to them. You don't have to move the data to them. You move it to us, we secure it, and when it's time to move to anyone else, we can put that data where we need to go. David, sometimes clients want control of their own data. 
They don't want it to leave their data center. How does CertainSafe handle these types of situations, such as banking or the government? There's many, many instances that this is going to be true, and, and for many different reasons. Sometimes the data can't leave an existing data center for that company, for that uh, enterprise. We can take all of our services and license them and install them on your equipment or even provide equipment with the stuff pre with our services pre-installed and put them in your data center. And then it lives in your data center. And, and if you think of it as sort of a, a network within your bigger network, you can still enjoy the same security because the calls will be made into this little private uh, hidden network within. And then all of the security is happening locally. So the data never leaves the data center. It stays, though, within our services running in a separate environment within your data center. Well, this sounds wonderful. Thank you very much for your time, Dave. Yep. My pleasure. Thank you.